so I am available if you have some questions. All right, cool. And by the way, one more thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not a peace activist. Okay. I don't uh, belong to the peace industry. I do things, uh, you know, uh, separately from all the, you know, the money and the, you know, this uh, narrative of uh, dividing people. I, I would really like people, especially from, you know, settlements and Palestinians to talk and get to uh, figuring out how they can live together. That's that's my one of my goals. I think you should figure out how to make them talk first because right now there is a language barrier, there is a hate barrier. The two bad, the biggest two barriers are number one barrier is a hate barrier. People yep. who are Palestinians don't want to even look at the face of any Israeli, and people who are Palestinians Israelis don't want to talk to many people from Palestine. They are scared of them. Right, but so, this is where we get to the picture because. In the social media, you can you can do it and people, you can uh, make people, an example for other people how to do it. People are even scared to talk on social media also. And I don't have many people from Israel, neither people from Palestine who are ready to talk to each other. And it's been very difficult. I've been looking for five years and I could not find even 10 people who are openly ready to talk. I have maybe three or four people, but those are also not active people. They are like, okay, sometimes, sometimes, no. But if only we can talk and do what we are doing right now and publish it on social media every single day, one video, it will make a big change. I agree. And I think that uh, only now in history we can actually do it because we have the technical and the no, the modernization is very also, uh, uh, it's a blessing if you ask me I yeah. mean, to connect people. We do things now, me and you, something that uh, couldn't be done, let's say, even five or six years ago. True, true. So uh, it's possible and uh, we need to get uh, this circle be bigger. Yes. So and my, also need to, you know, here, be proud of who you we can, are. You can ask me, you can strangle me. You can, uh, you know, ask me any question you want. You're more than welcome to ask. All right. Um, you uh, actually, you are Pakistan, right? Yes. And uh, you try to, what, what is your goal, basically? And what uh, you do, you want to uh, connect between Indians and Pakistanis or, if, or something bigger than that? So my goal in the life is to end poverty from the world. And in order to end that, you need peace also. And people are focusing on arms and oil in the wrong places. You know, there is too much abundance of money in other places also. You don't really need to make arms. Uh, Israel-Palestini problem to me is a very small problem. It's not a big problem. But when you have a small little mole, or say if I take a pin and stick it in my face, my whole body will be crying. It's a very small problem. The pin is a very small pin, but the whole body is ah, screaming like hell. So it's painful problem. It's a small little problem, but if we just fix the small, take it out, it will go away very quickly. So I think that it's uh, not such a big problem for the humanity to solve. Uh, if they really wanted to solve it, uh, all what I think is needed is 1,000 people from Palestine talking to 1,000 people on Facebook in every day and like this and sharing it with the world because then good news will start coming out. And when good news start coming out, people start thinking in a good way. Right now they're like, oh. they're like ready to punch each other. Which we, is, need start, we need to start with humanity, basically. It's the, yeah. the basic uh, element we need to start from. Yeah. Not so, from politics, not from nationality, and not from religion. Yeah, so we spend a trillion dollars on this and this bad thing, and there are people dying on basic needs and stupidity, and you know, it's just sad that uh, Israel has so much knowledge and so much technology that they, people can learn from, you know. A country which has no water, which is, you know, creating so many things. Um, we should learn. The whole world, planet should learn that, look, this is possible. 
and uh, also we should learn to build and not uh, to destroy correct so that's what my goal is my goal is to learn how we can learn from each other and collaborate and make a beautiful world i don't like to fight and that's my personal interest uh, same thing with india pakistan india pakistan problem will uh, look like a joke 50 years from now israel palestine problem will look like a joke 50 years from now people will laugh at this oh my god you know just like we think about a thousand year old or 500 year old war we have you know people killing with this and that once we are humanity is growing and entering into a different dimension of mindset definitely and, uh slowly slowly it will change once we start connecting and talking and communicating even me talking to you is hated by a lot of people because they they have done this um uh, they, they feel... have a lot of uh, conceptions and uh, a lot of um, you know a lot of uh, beliefs you know about uh, based on hate you know about uh, like about the jews about israelis about zionists yeah you know? it's about ignorance it's it's this people are ignorant people are it's easier to hate than to love it's always easier to say i can blame you all my problems of my life are because of israel not because of what i have done to myself it's easier to do that it's a easy way out and we all do this it's as human he's human beings we are all lazy we just want to blame it to somebody else whoever lost the election is always blaming the other party whoever you know loses the game is always blaming the other party we blame so instead of taking responsibility so i am taking responsibility of my own life Exactly. Taking self responsibility is very important. Sorry to interrupt you, but also the conversation should be, you know, we need to listen to each other rather than hearing. You know, we need to digest what the other what the other side say right. and to not to cut them and not to interrupt them and not to disrespect them. And it's also very important to make a respectful debate about everything, about the very very fundamental issues as well. Yes. I shared a video on our institute page page by another gentleman who was explaining how to get a yes out of a no and it was it's always about hearing from the third perspective uh, so my goal here is because I am neither Palestinian I wish I was Hindu and I wish I was Hindu Pakistani because then I would not be biased people will not think I'm a biased I I am a Muslim so therefore people think I am biased my goal here is to talk and conversate with you and just share who are you so people can get to know you because you know Muslims in countries like Pakistan which are saturated with one kind of people they don't know anybody else they don't By know Well I saw it to Rafi my first Muslim friend on Facebook was from Pakistan Oh cool So unfortunately how you doing shout out cool so unfortunately we don't reach out to other people and we are using our hate to create more more hatred that's right so my goal is to have my goal is yeah, to have go ahead, 50, my goal is with this series of interview is to have 50 interviews so of 50 israelis i have only managed to get 3 you are the fourth one i need to go 46 more and i want to share them and people who are happy to make new friends people who are ready to give their time sometime to have a conversation uh and like this can mm-hmm. i say hi to the soldier ah uh, uh he's a police officer but i don't think he wants to talk to the camera okay hello ma shalom ta erev tov i'm daber im mish from pakistan i want to say hello 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 how are you hello uh, welcome welcome what is See, it's he... very it's very tense and uh, you know i love the idea i really do i mean it's in my heart but uh, i don't want the, the idf to be inside palestinian you know i don't want the idf to rule over other people yeah you know so um yeah that's it yeah what else so anyway it was uh, amazing to talk to you and uh, hopefully we will be able to see you over here soon you know one day you know in uh, jerusalem jerusalem al quds yeah see my idea is that i wish there would be possibility to make independent 
country like we have in Italy for uh -huh. the Catholics out of this area and then draw the line where it is for Palestine and draw the line where it is in Israel. Okay. Start living and then change the, you know, once the anger starts lowering down, we can start doing more things. That's what I would do if I was in charge. Uh, By the way, spiritually, this thing that you talk about, I believe it will begin from here. Yeah. It, uh, this is where the... This this is the, the 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 heart of the you know of the you know the the most sensitive thing you know the religion thing that's going on right now in the world and also by the way does havoc to Muslims I mean Muslims killing Muslims nowadays and this is the place that uh, where humanity should get together and uh, have a have a covenant with the, with the one another with God also. As I said, it should be like uh, the Vatican, the Vatican City, and it should be independent with independent everything. And it has enough tourism to support itself. So it can yeah. easily support itself. And um, once that is done, there should be a line wherever there is Palestine should have Palestine, wherever Gaza should be a different country altogether. And Palest, you know, West Bank can be a separate country, and eventually, in the future, when the tension is lower, we can come up with. You know, it's always United. United States was born later on. Europe is born. Countries, right. countries, borders. You know, they come and go. It's right. humans. So basically, we need to give time for the land to heal. Yes, the people there's too the much. There the is too much pain right now for yeah. anything to come out of this. And really, I believe that in the long run, the Jewish people and the Palestinian people will unite uh, back again to be one people. Yes. Because they came from one people, and uh, they should be equals. And and also Jews, you know, like you know, now Jews can't pray over there in the Temple Mount, in Haram Sharif. It's in the heart of a lot of Jews. And I believe that until the Palestinian people would not be free, also the Jews, unfortunately, will not have freedom <coughs> to worship over there. And uh, there's a lot of things to fix, but uh, everything is possible. Yeah. So let's start by having a conversation and talking to each other and uh, telling jokes to each other because it's very important to, right. to have confidence with each other because you cannot really do business with anyone unless you can talk. You, I'm looking this way, you're looking this way, and we cannot do business together. Business as That's in right. find a solution. That's right. This is uh, why also, uh, you know, my uh, Palestinian partner, John, I like to laugh about him uh, a lot, you know, and uh, even though it's a bitter laugh, you know, because the reality is harsh, but uh, laughter is also good to diffuse uh, tension and diffuse uh, pain. So it's good. Thank you, Habibi. Thank you, brother. And um, any other questions? Any, anytime you feel like, please call me. I would like to update you about uh, what's going on, you know, from uh, once in a while and maybe introduce to you uh, a lot, you know, more uh, interesting people that I work with. Sure. And there's a lot of uh, cool people that I work with, like uh, Yuda Cohen, Gabriel Reese, Osama El Awad. Uh, you know, there's, 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 you know, uh, there's people that, uh, brilliant people that uh, really give me personally inspiration. I would be very honored to talk to more people. As I said, I need 46 more Israelis. Um, I also would love for you to make a video of an Adan going on when there is, there is a in a mosque. And you can make a video and say, Hi, how are you? Asalaamu Alaikum. I am in Israel. And there is this mosque. Because people in Pakistan think there is only Jewish people living in Israel. Whereas 30% population is still Muslim. So oh, by the way, Israel is so diverse. I mean, there's Muslims. I mean, there's Palestinians, Jews, uh, Ethiopians, uh, Russians. You just name it. You know, Israel is so diverse, and yeah. uh, it's a shame that people don't know the real story of Israel. And I love Israel. There's, you know, it's not perfect, but uh, it's a place that generates a lot of uh, thinking, a lot of, uh, you know, th this diversity basically builds eventually. Yes. So, uh, if you can share a video of a mosque 
uh, with the azan that would be great if you can go inside a mosque that will be even great if you have some muslim friend go inside the mosque pray and sit there i don't think people will be upset i don't know basically um, i would love to pray one day in a mosque i yeah. mean uh, you know i'm not a muslim even though i recognize muhammad as a true prophet no doubt yeah. i mean you know someone sent him and uh, people also jews need to recognize that um, but I'm Jewish. I will probably die at you unless they will uh, stone me or I don't know. <laughs> I don't Hopefully know. they will stone me with something that smells good. <laughs> Why would they stone you? How would they have you done? I don't know. I mean, uh, there's a lot of stone throwing uh, nowadays, you know, so what can you do? Frustration, Haki. Frustration. Ask yep. them to to throw conversation at you through Facebook where you cannot be, you know, tishun tishun doesn't work. That's and what we try to do, sir. That's yeah. what we try to do. It's More not easy, but uh, we get there. Yes. And really. we can't be naive about it also. We need to really, you know, keep our, you know, faith very, very high, but keep our legs on the ground. Yes. There is a very good movie I saw yesterday. Tomorrow's World. I would highly recommend you to see it. Because it explains in the end that there are two kind of wolves inside. One is hope and one is uh, failure. So if you feed the, whatever wolf you will feed, that will become higher. So if you have hope, keep on feeding the hope part and you will be successful. Yes, sir. And you also have to make a lot of mistakes before you get to the promised land. Exactly. And to learn from them. Yes. All right, Habibi. Thank you so much again. Thank Please you. And touch. it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Take care. And, uh, assalamu alaikum and shalom to Pakistan. Thank you.